What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker. And we're here because I got a foreign silver grab bag from AG Chopsticks. Hey, guys. Welcome back. That's right. AG Chopsticks is my go-to for foreign silver. This guy knows his stuff. His LCS seems to get a lot of it. Well, he said in Discord, hey, you got... No, he, he said, hey, if I was going to do a $100 grab bag, who would be interested? Uh, yeah, I'm interested. So, doesn't seem like this bubble wrap actually ends anywhere, which is kind of crazy. So, we're going to cut it. Uh, I can't remember what the melt value was uh, at the time, but it wasn't far off from what he was charging. And based on today's price of silver, which is at like 27, uh, almost 27, 26 and change for sure. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I'll reuse that for sure. Uh, you can't, you can't be mad at that, right? So let's check out what we have here, y'all. This is pretty exciting. This is a 50 centavos from 1917. That is an 80%. That is pretty cool. This is, oh, I've been wanting Philippine silver. Now I got some 50 centavos. United States of America. This is 75% silver. This is 1944S. Wow. This is cool, y'all. Filipinas with an F. 0.2411. So that's about a quarter ounce. That's about just under a quarter ounce. This is a franc. I actually have one or two of these, I believe. So this lady here is who we copied the Walking Liberty uh, half dollar off of. For those of you that don't know that, our designer copied their designer. Obviously not. Man, look at the detail on that. You can see everything. Her purse, her dress. That's awesome. Uh, so that is 0 0.1342 ounces of silver. I love that he has all these super labeled like this. So this is a sixpence, uh, 0.04. I've got tubes of these. So this will be going into one of those tubes. Um, this is, oh wow, look at how good shape this is in. 19, no. That says 25 centavos, 1950. 0 0.0321 actual silver weight. That's pretty cool. It's got a ridged edge there. Man, this is fun. So, uh, let me take a minute to say happy Saturday, everybody. Thank y'all so much for joining us on another premiere train. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be on Saturday the 12th or Saturday the 19th. If it is on the 19th, chances are I may not be here because, uh, we are camping for spring break, but just in case, uh, I'm not here, I apologize, but thank y'all for joining us on the train today. And if this is on the, uh, 12th, then, uh, I should be here and chat with you guys. So this is 1844, y'all. Look at that. Mexico, two reales, 1963, actual silver weight. This is 0 0.903. I wonder if that's, uh, if that's, uh, uh, 
90%, 90.3% maybe. That's very interesting. How y'all think I'm doing so far on a $100 grab bag? Not too shabby, huh? All right, so this is a 1907A. This is one mark from Germany. I got one of these, I believe, from Mrs. Coin Crew. This will be my second one of these, which is amazing. This is too cool. Man, look at the detail on that. The crown and the breast on the, like the shield on the eagle there. That is awesome. Oh, wow, look at the details on that. So this is 0 0.917. Uh, I guess percentage of silver. They got some weird percentages here. This is almost a third of an ounce. So this is KSA. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what KSA means. These coins that don't have anything on them always throw me off. But, you know, with the, with the interwebs, we can figure that stuff out. So this is... KSA Real. I'm sure you guys probably know a little bit more about that. I'm going to hit pause real quick. Y'all won't know I hit pause, but I'm telling you I did anyway. See how cool the interwebs is? This is from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is my very first Saudi silver. I could definitely uh, be down to have a couple tubes of those. That would be pretty dang cool. All right. Oh, we got some more Philippines. 20 centavos, 1945D. This one is 75% uh, silver. 0.0965. Wow. United States of America. Y'all, this is a grab bag for you right here. Isn't this amazing? Nice. These Philippines coins are too cool. So that's a 20 centavos and that's a 10 centavos. Both 75%. Uh, so if, as you can see, the 10 centavos weighs half as much in silver as the 20 um which i love that you know that's our our silver denomination was like that as well like uh so you could take different denominations of your coin and figure out how much to be an ounce so like uh 10 dimes weighs the same as a silver dollar right so um two quarters weighs the same as a half dollar a lot of people don't realize that but if you do the math uh if you do the math it works out that way oh well he even labeled these all right so i've i've sold quite a few of these at auction i don't think i've ever had one this nice and i don't think i have one in my stack so this is 72 percent um point zero five uh, I actually think that's not 0 0.05. It's actually 0 0.5. These are almost half an ounce. That's gorgeous. Let's see what else we got here. Maria Teresa Thaler. So I'm assuming that's going to be 0 0.7517. Uh... Archid Ostdu Berg caught seventeen eighty. No, that can't be right. What? There's no way this is a coin from seventeen eighty, right? Man, this is insane. All right, y'all hold on one second. I got to look this up. 
So from what I can tell, this is Austro-Hungarian. And AG Chopsticks, you'll have to comment in the deal. I don't know if this is a restrike or if this is legit a 1780 coin. Um, I have no idea. I probably could spend a little more time researching on that SF and some other things to find out. Um, but wow, that is insane. And then of course, you can't go wrong with the good old Canadian silver dollar from 1939. And then this is, what is this? That is the Canadian 1944 half dollar. Well, if I can get it out of there. So that's pretty cool. I picked up a bunch of uh, 60s half dollars. I believe these are still 80 percenters. But that's in very good shape. Beautiful, beautiful ridges. And a good old 1939 full dollar. So, um... This would be 0.3, and this would be 0.6. So, all together right here, we got 0.9. And then, like 1.42, this would add, make it to like 2.47. And then I'm not going to go through and add up the rest of this stuff, but I definitely got somewhere between 3 and 4 ounces of silver. Uh, here, which for for a hundo on some of these dates and conditions, um, that's what I call a big, big win. You guys, this is huge. This is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, again, these are all going in my stack. And once they go in my stack, they never go back. Guys, I appreciate you coming to hang out on yet another Premier Train. We are coming up on... Well, I guess we're coming up on around 18 months. We've been running this thing every Saturday. Haven't missed one yet. Um, is the train itself? I I may have missed one. I can't remember for sure. But even if I miss one, the train still must go on. So, thanks to all you other conductors out there, past, present, and future. I appreciate you guys. Come hang out with us sometime soon, and do not worry about fitting in because we are all mad here.